It's a hundred years since the first women won the vote. They didn't win it easily, they had to fight for it. I'm honoured to fast for 24 hours to recall the far greater and extraordinary sacrifices brave women made a hundred years ago so that women can have political power today. But we still don't have a real democracy, a democracy where every vote counts. We have to carry on this struggle to make sure that all votes count and that the way we vote is reflected in the way power is shared in the House of Commons. I voted Green all my adult life, but I have never had anybody represent me at Westminster. In spite of a million votes cast for the Green Party in 2015, we still had only one seat. And in that election, the Greens, Lib Dems and UKIP got over 24% of the vote between them, nearly a quarter of the votes, but won just one and a half percent of the seats. This is just not a fair democracy. Of course, I'm convinced that 20 or 30 Green MPs would transform Westminster politics. But this isn't mainly about any particular party. It's about fairness and an effective democracy. I see, here in the European Parliament, how much more people are engaged in politics in other European countries, where they can vote for the party they actually believe in. They find it shocking that the first consideration before you vote in Britain is who can win, rather than who will represent me best. This degrades democratic politics to the level of a horse race. I represent South West England. It's dominated by conservative politicians. In Cornwall, Somerset, Dorset and Wiltshire, there are only conservative MPs. Although around half the people who live there vote Conservative, only half voting Conservative, but all the MPs are Conservative. This is why we have a Conservative government forcing through spending cuts and a hard Brexit, when most people in our country didn't vote for that. In the European Parliament, I see the opposite. Politicians from a wide range of parties working together, seeking compromise to achieve the best outcomes for everybody. Most politicians who have experience of a collaborative political system never want to go back to the punch and judy style of the House of Commons. I think we're all aware that our democracy isn't working very well right now and that the gap between politicians and the people they represent seems to have grown very wide. Moving towards a fair voting system will help to revitalise our democracy and make sure that MPs would really represent the people who vote for them.